Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this machine part in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And to do this, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name and say ok. Now to design this kind of part, first you create all add material features and then you go for remove material feature. So let's start this part with this base and for this go to extrude, onto the right datum plane, normal. Now draw a rectangle, just like this, now the dimension, so this is 140, this is 25, say ok. Now this dimension is 80, make it symmetry and say ok. So your base is done. Now the next feature is this feature and for this once again go to extrude, sketch, go for use previous to select the previous plane. Now take a reference, this top surface. Now draw an arc, start like this. Make this point and this point horizontal. Now create a line. Start from here, this side, this side, this side and close it. Now the dimension. So from here till here, this is 10. This is 110. Now this dimension is 30. and this is radius 70. Say ok. Now this is 60. Make this also symmetry and say ok. So this is done. Now the next feature is this feature and for this go to extrude onto this surface normal. Go for reference right datum plane, now draw a circle, draw somewhere here, now the dimension. So from here till here this is 25 and the dia is 30, say ok. Now the height is also 30, say ok. Now the next feature is this gap. So go for extrude onto the right datum plane, sketch normal, go for project, project this surface, then this axis, draw a line from here till this axis, go like this and close it. Now go for delete segment and delete this unwanted segment, now the dimension. So this is 5, say ok. Now this width is 30, this also you make symmetry and say ok. Now the next feature I will create is this feature and for this once again go to extrude onto the right datum plane, normal, take a reference for this top surface. Draw once again a rectangle, start from somewhere here like this, now the dimension. So from here till here this is 8, this is 108, this is 20, say ok. Now the width is 80, make it symmetry and say ok. So now all add material features are done. Now I will go for remove material feature. So let us start with this feature. So for this go to hole, switch on your datum, select this surface, press and hold control key and select this axis. Now the die of hole is 20 and this is through all. Say ok. 
Now the next feature is this cutout and for this go to extrude onto this surface normal, draw a circle, something like this, then draw a triangle using line, start from here like this, like this and this. Draw a line here also, go for delete segment and delete this top segment. Now the dimension, so this is 18 and from here till here this is 15, from here till here this is also 15 and this die is 20, say ok. Flip the direction and say through all, say ok. Now the last feature is this cut and for this once again go to extrude onto this surface normal, go for reference, again right reference, draw a center line just like this, then line. Start from here like this, then arc, from here just like this. One more line from here, let it be vertical, go for delete segment and delete this unwanted segment. Now the dimension, so from here till here this is 15. and make this and this tangent. Now this is radius 15. Mirror this section. Say ok. Flip the direction. This one you make to selected and select this surface and your part is done. Now to change the appearance go to view appearance, select the appearance, go to the part, select the part. Now to edit this appearance, go to appearance, edit, select the proper color and say ok. Close it, once again go for appearance, second appearance, this time you go for surface, select this surface, this surface, this surface, this surface, this surface, this surface and this surface and your part is done. Now if you want to show these dimensions the way it is given here then go for annotate and here you can either use show annotation or dimension. So if you use show annotation you can call all model driven dimension directly in your part. Now here you can select all the dimensions at a time or you can go with selective dimensions just like this. You can arrange all your dimensions afterwards. Similarly, once again go for second feature and here also you can do the same. You can arrange it the way you want. Now the same thing you can do with dimension. So if you want to create this dimension with a dimension, then go for dimension. But here you need to understand the proper sketching plane. So for this dimension, top plane is the sketching plane. Now you select this edge, press and hold control key, select this edge and create the dimension. Now in case if you want to place this dimension, then for this dimension the sketching plane is the front. So go for front, then dimension and then you can place the dimension. Just like this. So this is how we create 3D dimension inside the part. So that's it from this video. So this is how we design the machine part and place the 3D dimension in Creo parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.